Hello and welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you've been here before. This is day nine, the last day in the Novena to the Holy Spirit. So a Novena is nine days, so nine days between Ascension Thursday and Pentecost Sunday. Nine days. Nine days between when Jesus ascended into heaven and when the Holy Spirit was sent down on Pentecost. So each day this last week I've been praying that day's prayer to the Holy Spirit, asking for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And I hope you've been joining me along this journey. It's a very rewarding journey. So in the meantime, I'm going to start this novena, so please join me. In nomine Patre, Fili, et Spiritu Sancti, Amen. Sent with the power to reconcile, thou on those who evermore, thee confess and thee adore. In thy sevenfold gifts descend, give them comfort when they die. Give them life with thee on high. Give them joys which never end. Amen. Father, through Jesus, your Son, you sent the paraclete to be at our side to reconcile all creation to you. Grant that I may be forever open to Jesus' invitation to receive the Holy Spirit. Father, open our hearts to accept your forgiveness for our sins and to offer that same forgiveness to those who we feel have offended us. For merciful forgiveness is the essence of your love revealed in your Son. Come, O Divine Spirit, fill my heart with your heavenly fruits, your charity, joy, peace, patience, benignity, goodness, faith, mildness, and temperance, that I may, by faithful submission to your inspiration, merit to be united eternally with you in the love of the Father and the Son. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in moriarbus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Matre Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunca de nora mortis nostre. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Act of Consecration to the Holy Spirit On my knees, before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and the light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, so to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant heareth. Amen. And for the prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Christ Jesus, before ascending into heaven, you promised to send the Holy Spirit to your apostles and disciples. Grant that the same Spirit may perfect in our lives the work of your grace and love. Grant us the spirit of fear of the Lord, that we may be filled with a loving reverence toward you. The spirit of piety, that we may find peace and fulfillment in the service of God while serving others. The spirit of fortitude, that we may bear our cross with you and, with courage, overcome the obstacles that interfere with our salvation. The spirit of knowledge, that we may know you and know ourselves and grow in holiness. The spirit of understanding to enlighten our minds with the light of your truth. The spirit of counsel that we may choose the surest way of doing your will, seeking first the kingdom. Grant us the spirit of wisdom that we may aspire to the things that last forever. Teach us to be your faithful disciples and animate us in every way with your spirit. Amen. In nomine Patre, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Thank you for joining me for this last day of the Novena to the Holy Spirit. If you haven't yet, please click subscribe down below and turn on the bell for notifications if you'd like to see future videos. And you can also follow me on Instagram, which the ad information will be right here at the end of this video. And in the meantime, I hope to see you in my next video.